Rondi, you have been seeing and treating fragile X families, including siblings, parents, and even grandparents, for many years and have come to know our families well. Faxpoi and Faxtas are two fragile X related conditions which can affect some carriers. Both Faxpoi and Faxtas are becoming more well known. But what can you tell us about the growing understanding of other health issues pre-mutation carriers can experience? So there are a variety of health issues that pre-mutation carriers can experience that are not um, FAXPOI or FAXTAS. So the most common problem are the neuropsychiatric difficulties. And so we felt it was important to name the Fragile X Associated Neuropsychiatric Disorders or FAXAND, uh, F-X-A-N-D. And it's important to name these because this will stimulate more research and more studies regarding treatment and will bring validity to these problems associated with the premutation. Because many women and also males who are carriers can experience anxiety, depression, obsessive compulsive behavior, um, and other types of neuropsychiatric conditions. And oftentimes their doctors won't recognize these difficulties as important problems or that they're associated with the premutation. They can occur in about 50%, so they're much more common than um, FAXTAS or FAXPOI, and they need to be recognized because they require treatment. Um, so um, other examples of neuropsychiatric disorders uh, include sleep disturbances, um, difficulties in falling asleep or waking up and worrying about things at night and then having a difficult time getting back to sleep. These are very common among uh, pre-mutation carriers. Also pain symptoms. Uh, many women in particular who are carriers can experience um, fibromyalgia, um, that's muscle pain uh, that can be worse with touch, um, and that's a difficulty that um, uh, can be very problematic for many carriers. Um, and there's not um, very good treatments, and it isn't recognized um, uh, in terms of its association with the premutation. But we've seen this in about 40% of Carriers who have fax tasks can experience fibromyalgia, and about uh, 20 to 30 percent of those without fax tasks. Um, it's more common in women. Another pain problem is migraine headaches. Um, that's seen in 50 percent of women with the premutation, um, and about uh, 25 to 30 percent of males with the premutation. Um, and the migraine headaches can be severe sometimes. Um, and part of a, what we call a chronic pain syndrome in that um, uh, neuropathy pain, fibromyalgia or muscle pain, and headache pain, but also orthopedic problems such as um, back problems, disc problems. Um, it could be that the connective tissue looseness that's seen in carriers can lead to uh, difficulties with the spine or protrusion of discs um, and uh, pain in the back. So we see these problems very commonly. So it's more a matter of managing them than treating them sometimes. Yes, absolutely. They require treatment. Uh, these problems are associated with the premutation. Other medical problems include high blood pressure. Um, that could be made worse by some of the stress that many carriers experience. And we think that carriers are more sensitive to stress. So their uh, hypothalamic, pituitary, adrenal axis can respond more dramatically to stress. Um, and they, their lives can involve stress, particularly when they're raising kids with Fragile X syndrome, or particularly if they're being uh, aggressed on by children with Fragile X syndrome. If they're hit, that causes a lot of stress, particularly in the mothers. Um, so these problems are quite common. So are these problems more prominent with the number of CGG repeats you have 
Is it on a sliding scale or is it? So what we know is that individuals that have between 70 and 100 repeats are at highest risk for these difficulties. Um, over 100 repeats, they still can have these problems, um, but there's what we call a curvilinear association. So the problems are most frequent in those between 70 and 100 repeats. So... You wouldn't immediately guess that. <laughs> no, no. Okay, thank you very much, Randy.